One. Howdy, everybody. Uh, welcome to another uh, YouTube installment of your Redneck Chef here. A lot of these ideas you know how to do. I just try to make them easier and give you hints, stuff like that. If you look right down here, what I pretty much, right over here, is uh, you want to take your carrot and do a little shaving. What we're going to do today is uh, spring rolls, futons, I don't know what you call them, but they're really good. And then you got your green onions. You're going to just dice these up all the way. Use the whole onion, like I said, take a potato peeler. Just shave them carrots down, whittle them down. I uh, got some uh, bean sprouts, of course. We got cabbage, red bell pepper. I use four of them. Use plenty of soy sauce when you're cooking this. And I use four pounds of chicken. And if you can see over here, I dice the chicken up really small. You see how little that is? Because when we put them in these spring rolls, uh, now you can do them in the oven, we're going to do them in the fire. A little bit later I'm going to do some of the shrimp. Make me some shrimp egg rolls. You got egg rolls here. You got the ones we're going to be using right now. These are those uh, wontons. So let me show you that. Let's get right down here. Right here's your wonton. And everything has already been cooked, reduced. You can see that steam coming off. See that steam? It's, oh, it smells wonderful. It really does. Got your just real colorful dish too. I mean, it is just really, really tasty, gorgeous. Just kind of let it cook about two to three minutes, and then uh, once that's been reduced, where the cabbage gets tender and everything's ready to go, just take your wonton here, and you just want to grab one of these things. A lot of people know how to do this. Some don't. I'll show you for those that don't. It's really quick, really easy. You just want to wet all four sides of it really good. And it almost turns into a glue or what have you. And no matter how much you want to overstuff it, try to keep it just a normal, just one little spoonful in the middle. Um, otherwise they won't close properly and they won't fry good. Then basically, it's really easy. Pinch these two sides together and then pinch these two sides together. Once you have your two sides, then you want to bring it up and just pinch it in the middle. Once you do that, you just pinch the other edges. And we got a nice tight seal there. And we take our little present of goodness. Here's a little trick with this. You got your deep fat fryer here. If you throw it in the basket, it's going to float up to the top and not cook properly. So what I like to do is just drop it right in there. You can see that. Frying up real good. And then just let your basket rest on it. You can do several of those at a time, and they'll get all nice and fried up. And let me show you the end result here. Basically got these nice crunchy, you can hear that. Hear how crunchy those things are? Got your two dipping sauces. I got a little bit of uh, that duck sauce here and just the regular red sweet and sour. I got that on the plate right here. And that's basically all they are. They're kind of spring rolls, but with chicken or um, with shrimp, which I'm going to do later. So... Anyhow, uh, if you have any questions or what have you, just uh, send me a message. And, um, yes, I'll see you all later. Y'all take care now. Bye-bye.